Welcome, friends, to season zero of the End of Tourism podcast. In these mini episodes, you'll hear short transmissions speaking to the principles of the pod. We'll introduce you, our listeners, to the themes and questions that will be woven into our conversations, a kind of primer on our politics. This episode is entitled Responsibility, Repair, and Radical Hospitality. For tourists and even their local hosts, tourism is a temporary endeavor. That is, it is next to impossible for tourists to be aware of their consequences in a place that is understood and lived as temporary. To watch the consequences of one's actions ripple out into the local world and over time means you'd have to stay there long enough for that to actually happen. Realistically, how could anyone be a responsible tourist when most vacations last a few weeks to a few months at most? To reframe the idea, we might ask a question. How long would a person have to stay in a place in order to adequately see those consequences arising? Moreover, how would they do so without the aid of other people, of community and context? The answer to this is that it would take years, if not decades, and likely even a lifetime. This is a non-negotiable aspect of wanderlust and tourism that ensures the responsibility for foreign entitlement is placed firmly on the shoulders of local people. Tragically, this is what local people often invite when they open up their land, lineages, and homes to tourism. Responsible tourism, then, is an oxymoron. You can't be responsible to a place by being elsewhere. Okay. Our responsibility, then, is our ability to respond to such an unwavering circumstance that says your only definitive manner of being responsible to a place arises by staying there. There, then, is where the repair is to be done, by learning home. That becomes your resistance to the tourist leviathan. That becomes your insistence on a better world, there in the neighborhood, regenerating the neighborhood. This podcast seeks to strike the rotted roots of tourism, how they arose, where they came from, and what we can do to ensure that the end of tourism is near. The End of Tourism podcast will ask why the travel shelves of bookstores never carry the stories of local peoples in the places that are turned into destinations. Where are the stories of those displaced in order to build the all-inclusive resorts or the eco-lodges? Where are they? And what would it cost us as tourists to listen to them, to hear something of our enduring consequence abroad, long after our departure, and even before it? If it costs us this much to ignore their stories, imagine what it costs them. We believe that to be responsible people in our time, to invite repair and reconciliation into the world requires nuance and awareness. The world of tourism is no different, deeply concealed and clouded as the industry of a thousand faces. When people criticize tourism, they typically blame tourists for the mayhem, or they blame local governments that seem all too happy to let that mayhem happen on their watch. Some might see this happen through the postmodern lenses of race or class or nationalities, but this is tunnel vision. There are countless narratives, but what we recognize is that a proper end to tourism doesn't begin through essentialist eyes. It isn't undertaken by putting all tourists or all governments into the same category and waving a flag as if we've suddenly achieved something by doing so. Essentialism is the beginning of tribalism, of fragmentation and xenophobia, the fear of the stranger. Understanding the clear and present danger of how these things can easily and swiftly metamorphose into the status quo we seek to subvert essentialism and tribalism. 
Like many, we want to build intercultural hospitality, but we understand that it properly starts at home. On the pod, we will not be in the business of seeking solutions. We will not seek to perpetuate a mentality of sustainability in an unsustainable world. We will seek rooted questions, ones that might bring us closer to radical hospitality. Wait, what exactly is radical hospitality? Well, let's consider that radical hospitality is often what tourism claims to be, but in fact is that which tourism undermines. Radical hospitality is what might have existed in the place of tourism before tourism, and that which might arise in tourism's place. Maybe the question isn't even about what radical hospitality is, but what it does and what it doesn't do. We will seek out the elders in our midst to ask such questions, to wonder about a way of being with other people and other cultures that doesn't seek to deny difference, but embraces it without reducing each other to our similarities. We will ask whether such a thing is possible in a touristed world or if it must begin at home. We will ask where radical hospitality comes from, not just in time, but in a place, and see if we can't practice it ourselves here on the pod. We hereby seek to learn of achieved examples of a kind of hospitality that doesn't promote xenophobia but ones that stand in solidarity with touristed places and people worldwide. We hereby intend to build networks of solidarity between diverse peoples of all kinds across all cultures, human and otherwise. We intend to proceed learning our touristic behavior so that we may unlearn it. We choose to do the work so as not to be tourists, which is to say, amateurs and strangers, not abroad, nor at home. We hereby declare that the end of tourism is possible, and that its beginning includes becoming hospitable guests and hosts at home. That this is the work of repair and reconciliation that properly belongs to the people in the street and the people in the neighborhood, across cultures. We hereby use this opportunity to apprentice limits and to learn radical hospitality, understanding these things to be skills that properly deserve to be honored at the forefront of more honorable and intercultural worlds. We hereby invite you to join us on what we vow to be some of the deep and demanding work of responsibility, repair, resistance, and resilience in our time. We invite you to subscribe and stand in solidarity with home and with the myriad movements and peoples around the world fighting for theirs. We invite you to the end of tourism. Thank you for listening to the End of Tourism podcast. If what you heard had its way with you, if the arrows hit their mark, click subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you're listening. To go deeper, join us at theendoftourism.com and follow us on social media under the handle The End of Tourism.